Well, hello, I just had somebody ask me if there was a way to drain down a tankless water heater if you were going away and you were worried about it freezing or something. And yes, there is, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, this is the pipe cover at the base of your water heater. Now, uh, typically there's two screws down here at the bottom, two Phillips head screws that you'll have to take out to get this off, but I've already gone ahead and taken them off. So you'll slide this cover down. It should come off pretty easy. Um, and then you're going to have a piece of insulation in here. Go ahead and take that out. And you have four valves in here. Uh, you should have a red and a blue one, and you should have two yellow ones. They might be white or some other color. Uh, you're going to turn the yellow ones in the back back here, and there's one kind of hiding back here. Uh, it's kind of in a bad place. But anyway, turn both of those off. That isolates the water heater. Uh, and then what you're going to do, uh, I would go ahead and open this TMP first so it can drain off that pressure and it's going to drain it off down on the ground. Uh, and then you can open this blue one, undo that little hose cap, and then go ahead and open that valve. Now watch out, it is going to drip water. It's not going to shoot water, uh, but it is going to drip some water because it's draining all that down. And you are going to want to do it on the red one too. Uh, and now this... Um, your, your water heater is not going to work because <laughs> it is isolated, it's off, you've drained all the water down and of course uh, when you're ready for hot water again just do these steps in reverse uh, and you should be fine.